Today is a good day. Yes. It is a good day. It's video number two, and today we will be talking about... James Hind. Another highwayman. But I have fun making these. And, uh... They're fun. And the people who watch them, I love you all because you are the coolest people I know. Yeah. You viewers are the coolest people I know. And I do and I do mean that. <laughs> but today we will be talking about James Hind, yet another highwayman. But eh, what the heck? There's so many in the United Kingdom, I'm going to cover them all. And then we'll go back to burglars, but I gotta find some first. I gotta find another big list. But other than that, let's jump right into the video, shall we? About James Hind. James Hind, sometimes referred to as John Hind, baptized on the in the year 1616 no one knows when he was born but they know he was born in the year 1616 and uh, yeah was a 17th century highwayman and royalist rabble rouser during the English Civil War he came from the town He came from the town of Chippington, Chipping Norrington in Oxfordshire. He fought in the English Civil War for the Royalist cause. This, this vent seems good. I need some light. This camera will provide our natural light. He fought in the English Civil War for the Royalist cause. Some reports tell of him assisting the escape of King Charles II after his defeat at the Battle of Worcester. After the war, he took up the highway robbery against the Commonwealth forces with his exploits both real and embellished and printed in numerous pamphlets. That made him into a royalist folk hero of the Robin Hood mold. His partner Thomas Allen was captured when they attempted but failed to rob Oliver Cromwell. Anybody who knows Oliver Cromwell will know yeah, he's the guy who killed a king, essentially. Sadly, there's not very much about this guy, but yeah, there's enough to here to talk about him. Hind also robbed John Bradshaw, president of the High Court of Justice for the trial of King Charles I. He refused to rob cavaliers and even gave money to poor royalists. He was born in 1616, Chipping Norrington, Oxfordshire, England. 1652, Worcester, Worcestershire, England is where he died. He was hanged and drawn in a quarter. His other names are John Hind. His occupation was highwayman. His parents are Roger Nyston and Elizabeth Gray. Conviction? Well, I'm not surprised. Murder. Because he did kill someone, what he claimed in self-defense, and I wouldn't doubt it was. Unfortunately, he was forced to. Criminal charge, treason, rather than highway robbery. He was finally caught during the protectorate when one of his associates revealed to him to the authorities. However, Hind was charged with treason rather than highway robbery because of his expression royalist loyalty and was hanged, drawn in a quarter in 1652 at Worcester. He was the subject of a biography, The English Gusman by George Fidge, London 1652, and 16 pamphlets defeeling, uh, detailing his exploits. Sadly, that's all there is about this dude, but, um... Yeah. That was it. I know, it's probably going to be really boring, but, you know, that's all there is about this dude. But other than that, i got to get the heck out of here, because uh, 
well, not me, but this kid were apparently watching Gregory is uh, a big tri-state criminal. And just ignore that intercom guy, because we know the greatest Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex is here in St. Louis, Missouri, because it's next to the St. Louis Arena at 5 7000 Oakland Avenue. But don't go there, because the St. Louis Arena is not actually there. It was demolished. But in the Fazbear universe, it still exists. Because it does. Those people in the Fazbear universe can thank Henry Emily the company owner of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria for that. He's a good dude. He's a very good dude. He saved the St. Louis Arena. And, uh, put a Mega Pizza Plex next to it. And, uh, I think Tom Stillman, the owner of the Blues, owns that company now. Chica, watch your mouth. No swearing. You have a choice to make. The door is open. Gregory has a choice. He's stealing a car. everyone. See you next Monday. I want to take a moment and uh, talk to you about something. I don't know what it is, but I'll think of it. I hold in my hand a giant 6D maglite. It's red, comes with a xenon incandescent bulb, but you can always replace it with an LED bulb. But instead of that, uh, I can't think of it, but uh, uh, I don't know. I want to tell you about, uh, what is it? VPN. NordVPN. You see, the internet, my friends, is like the old Wild West. It's like the Wild West. Very dangerous place. And everyone wants your information. Illegally, that is. So, I hear they're very good. I haven't got them. But I hear they're very good. Because safety is everything to them. And it is for me as well. I don't have them. But you don't have to get them. And I'm not sponsored by them. I just wanted to tell you about them. And, uh... A, uh... If anybody follows Crime Story Junkie... They're very cool. So is the Glarer. He has inspiring messages, and so does Crime Story. And uh, I have an inspiring message myself. You must tell yourself, no matter how hard it gets, you are going to make it. I am going to make it. Everyone's going to make it. On this beautiful Monday, 
It's not a horrible Monday. It's a beautiful Monday. For Tampa Bay Lightning fans, it's a horrible Monday because they lost the Stanley Cup to, uh... <clears throat> to, uh, some very douchey people. But, uh... You can't always trash talk them. But other than that... Yes, Tampa Bay Lightning's fans lost the Stanley Cup to Cronkies Ew. That's disgusting. What the? It's very horrible. But other than that, Goodbye, everyone! See you next Monday.